everybody. Today we are going to look at estimating time, which means guessing, predicting how long different activities take. So on the board we have got three different units of time. One second, one minute and one hour. Now we know from our work with the clocks that it takes one hour for our min hand to go all the way around, and that is one hour. Now, within an hour, there are 60 minutes, and within a minute, there are 60 seconds. So a second is the shortest unit of time that we are looking at. So a second, we all know how to count seconds. We can go one, two, Three, that's a really short unit of time. And a trick that some people do is they say the word elephant in their heads. They can say one, elephant, two, elephant, three. And that is about a second each time. Now a minute, can you remember how many seconds we said we're in a minute? There are 60. So if you count up to 60, doing it slowly with that elephant in between. So one, elephant, two, elephant, three, elephant, four, elephant five, all the way up to the number 60, that will be one minute. Now, once you've done that once, you'd get one minute, you would need to do that 60 times to get one hour. So the shortest period of time we're looking at today is one second, all the way up to the longest, which is one hour. Each of these activities on the board takes a different amount of time. One of them takes about an hour, one of them takes about a minute, and one of them takes about a second, or you count it in seconds, I suppose. So we've got lunchtime at school. So how long is lunchtime for when we go out, we have our lunch, we then have playtime till we come back in. How long does it take you to sing a song? And how long could it take you to clap three times? So which of those do we think is the longest? It takes about an hour. If a second, one elephant, two. Is that how long we have for lunch? To walk all the way into the lunch hall, get our tray, get our food, eat our food and go outside. It needs to be longer than that. So I think lunchtime at school is our longest there, which is about one hour. So then we've got singing a song and clapping three times. One of those would be about a minute, and one of those we would measure in seconds. Which do you think is our longest one? Which one is about a minute? I'd say singing a song is about one minute, and clapping three times, we just clap really, really fast, is which would have to be about one second. But I think that person's clapping very, very fast to do that. Okay, so a challenge that you can do today. On the board, I have got six different activities that you could have a go at. Before you do them, you could estimate how long you think they would take. Maybe they would take 10 seconds. Maybe they would take one minute. Maybe they might take longer. Maybe they'll take an hour. So it's up to you, and you don't need to worry if you're not getting it exactly right. This is a really, really tricky. We're not looking for exactly, but are you getting it close? So the first one, do you think you could do 10 star jumps? How long would it take you to do 10 star jumps? Maybe you could help with the washing up. How long would it take you to do, I don't know, to wash three mugs or to wash something? How long would it take you to sing happy birthday twice? Something we should all know the answer to now. Maybe you could do a clapping challenge. How long do you think it will take you to clap 20 times? Maybe you could even time how long it takes you to have your bath or your shower. And remember, it isn't a race to try and do it the quickest. We're just seeing how long it takes. And finally, I thought I'd be kind to parents. Maybe you could see how long does it take you to tidy your room? So you could estimate how long will it take you and then you can test and go and see. Okay, so really we're looking at estimating. So the actual timing of the activities, you might need to ask someone to help you with. Maybe they might teach you or show you it. Don't worry if not, we're just estimating how long. Because we need to make sure they are sensible estimations. Because I don't know how long it's going to take you to do 10 star jumps 
But I think I would measure that in seconds, definitely. I don't think it would take anyone in linen class an hour to do 10 star jumps. I know that much. Okay, here's a little challenge for you because the learning in your book is very similar to this. So a train ride from one side of London to the other takes about 30 what? Would it take about 30 minutes, 30 seconds or 30 hours? Now, I don't know this exactly, but I know that 30 seconds is less than a minute. That's very, very, very fast. And 30 hours, that's more than a whole day, which is really, really, really long. So I think a train ride from one side of London to the other must be about 30 minutes. I sleep for about nine mm, each night. Nine seconds or nine hours. Let's count nine seconds. Is this how long you sleep for? One, elephant two, elephant three, elephant four, elephant five, elephant six, elephant seven, elephant eight, elephant nine, and then it's time to wake up. I don't think so. So I think I sleep for about nine hours a night. So we're left with seconds. Let's check. I take about five mm, to walk from one side of the classroom to the other, which must be seconds. I think that would take us about five seconds. We could check when we're back at school. Your challenge for today is very, very similar. You're estimating how long it takes to do different things using minutes, seconds, or hours. So I sleep about 10 mm every day. Is that going to be 10 seconds, 10 minutes, or 10 hours? I take about 15 mm to take a shower. Maybe if you test that one, you'll be able to work out what do you think that one is. I need about three mm to recover from flu. <laughs> Might be a bit different. Maybe you have to think of a different unit of time there. Talk to someone in your family. The family cat runs up the stairs in two mm. Summer holiday lasts for six mm. So there's a couple in there that aren't seconds, minutes or hours. They are other units of time that we have looked at before but we might have other things there. See what you can, oh, it tells us here. Days or weeks. So we've got seconds, minutes, hours, days or weeks to fill in each of those. They're all different units of time. Good luck, have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow.